हेलो एवरी वन ई आम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर् मैक्स क्लास इन दिस क्लास वी विल लर्न द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सिमेट्रिक रिलेशन टू अंडरस्टैंड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सिमेट्रिक रिलेशन फर्स्ट वी विल लर्न डेफिनेशन ऑफ सिमेट्रिक रिलेशन एंड वी विल डू अटलीस्ट टू और थ्री एग्जाम्पल्स टू अंडरस्टैंड मोर क्लियरली अबाउट सिमेट्रिक रिलेशन फर्स्ट वी विल लर्न वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सिमेट्रिक रिलेशन You see here a relation R on set A. A relation R on set A is said to be symmetric relation. First of all, this relation is first of all it is a relation on set A. First of all, R is relation on set A, and that relation is said to be symmetric relation. You observe here for every ordered pair which is there in R, for every ordered pair A comma B belongs to R if B comma A ordered pair B comma A is also there in the relation. Then we say that that relation is symmetric relation. It is easy to understand through example. So we will try to understand the symmetric relation definition with example. First, I'll take set A. I'll take set A is equal to one, two, three. Here you observe here R is a relation on set A. When we say R is relation on set A, if R is subset of A cross A, then we say that R is relation on set A. So I want to write A cross A here to understand what is relation on set A. By this time, you know how to write A cross A. First, you take one element in set A and pair with all the elements of set A. That is, ordered pair one comma one, ordered pair one comma two, ordered pair one comma three. Now you take second element in set A and pair with all the elements of set A. That is ordered pair two comma one, ordered pair two comma two, ordered pair two comma three. Now you take third element in set A and pair with all the elements of set A. That is ordered pair three comma one, ordered pair three comma two, ordered pair three comma three. So now I written A cross A. I'll take a relation R on Y. When we say R is a relation on Y, if it is a subset of Y cross Y, so I'll take a subset of Y cross Y. Uh, for example, I'll take order pair one comma two, ordered pair two comma one, ordered pair uh, two comma three. Is it is a relation on Y? Is R is a relation on Y? When we say R is a relation on A, if R is subset of A cross A, then R is called relation on A. All the elements present in relation R, please try to understand. All the elements present in set R are present in A cross A. Yes, order pair one comma two is there in R. Order pair two comma one is there. Order pair two comma three is there. So what happened here? All the elements present in set R are present in A cross A. So R is a relation on A. Is this relation is symmetric relation or not? How to check is this relation is symmetric relation or not? You observe here from the definition for every ordered pair which is there in the R. For every ordered pair A comma B belongs to R. If B comma A is also there in that relation, then we say that that relation is symmetric relation. You observe this uh, here. You take ordered pair one comma two. Two comma one is there in this relation. If you take order pair one comma two in this relation, if two comma one is there in this relation, you observe yes, it is there here. Here it is two comma one is there or not? Yes, it is there. It is there. Now you take ordered pair second order pair two comma one. If you take order pair two comma one, order pair one comma two is there in this relation? Yes, it is there. You observe this first one order pair one comma two is there. That means if I take an order pair one comma two, order pair two comma one is there in this relation. If I take order pair two comma one, order pair one comma two is there in this relation. Can we say that is it a symmetric relation? No. We have to check for every ordered pair in R. So we have to check for order pair two comma three also. Order pair two comma three is there in R, but order pair three comma two is there in this relation. we can easily say that ordered pair 3 comma 2 is not there in this relation so that we say that this relation r is not symmetric how to write for the answer for this see for ordered pair 2 comma 3 belongs to r 
you take order pair 2 comma 3 order pair 2 comma 2 is Order pair 2 comma 3 is there in the relation? Yes, it is there. You check that order pair 3 comma 2 is there in the relation or not? Order pair 3 comma 2 is not there in this relation. So what we say? We say that R is not symmetric. R is not symmetric. Please try to understand the definition once again. For every ordered pair A comma B belongs to R. If order pair B comma A is also there in the relation, then we say that that relation is symmetric relation. Now we'll try to understand this with one more example. I'll take a, a relation, I'll name it as R1. I'll take a relation on A. Observe here order pair 1 comma 1, ordered pair 1 comma 3, ordered pair 2 comma 2, ordered pair 3 comma 1. It is, it is a subset of A cross A. R1 is a subset of A cross A. So R1 is a R1 is a subset of A cross A means R1 is a relation on A. Is this relation is symmetric relation? How to check? How to check a relation is symmetric relation or not? First we will take each and every ordered pair from that relation and we will check that order pair B comma A is there in that relation or not. For example, you take ordered pair 1 comma 1. You take order pair 1 comma 1. What is the reverse order here? Reverse order is also order pair 1 comma 1. What I want to say, if A comma B, B comma A. This type of order pairs always satisfies the symmetric condition. You observe order pair 1 comma 1, order pair 2 comma 2. This type of things always satisfies the symmetric condition. No need to check. If you take order pair 1 comma 1 in R1, obviously the reverse that is order pair B comma A that is order pair 1 comma 1 is there in this relation. So no need to check such type of order pairs for symmetric property because these type of order pairs always satisfies the symmetric condition. If you take order pair 2 comma 2, its reverse order order pair 2 comma 2 is there in this relation. So now you take this order pair 1 comma 3. If you take order pair 1 comma 3, order pair 3 comma 1 is there in this relation? Yes, it is there. If you take order pair 3 comma 1, look here. If you take order pair 3 comma 1, order pair 1 comma 3 is there in R1? Yes, it is there. So what happened here? For every ordered pair in R1, there exists order pair B comma A in this relation. That's why we say that this relation is symmetric relation. How to write the answer for this? See, we write like this. For We write like this, for every order pair, for every, this is important. You cannot write that 1 comma 3 belongs to R1 implies 3 comma 1 also belongs to R1. That's why R1 is symmetric relation. Like that we cannot write R1 for every A comma B, for every order pair A comma B in R1 implies ordered pair B comma A is there in the relation R1 or not. We verified for every order pair B comma A is also there in this relation. So what we say? We say that R1 is symmetric. R1 is a symmetric relation. Now we will try to understand this with one more example. Now I will take a relation, another relation on A, R2. I will take relation like this, order pair 1 comma 2, order pair 2 comma 1, order pair 1 comma 3 ordered pair 3 comma 1 ordered pair 3 comma 2 you observe is it is a subset of a cross a all the elements present in r2 are present in a cross a yes they are present so uh, r2 is a sub r2 is a relation on a now how to check r2 is symmetric relation or not how to check first we take an order pair 1 comma 2 you observe that order pair 2 comma 1 is there in this relation? Yes, it is there. You observe here. It is there. Now, you come to the second order pair. You take order pair 2 comma 1. Order pair 1 comma 2 is there? Obviously. Yes, it is there. Now, come to the third one. Order pair 1 comma 3. Ordered pair 3 comma 1 is there? Yes, it is there. Now, can we conclude is it symmetric? No, we cannot conclude. We need to check for every ordered pair in R. Order pair B comma A is also there in that relation. Now, we we'll, we have to check for every order pair. You take this last order pair, order pair 3 comma 2. For this order pair 3 comma 2, order pair 2 comma 3 is there in R2? 
if we take order pair 3 comma 2 order pair 2 comma 3 is there in r2 check it order pair 2 comma 3 is there it is not there so what we say the condition fails here so what we say we say that this relation is not symmetric how we'll write this uh, we'll write like this see we don't generalize here we'll give the reason why we are saying it is not symmetric order pair 3 comma 2 is there in the relation or not yes it is there uh, order pair 2 comma 3 is there in the relation or not order pair 2 comma 3 is there it is not there so what we say we say that r2 is not symmetric r2 is not symmetric r2 is a not symmetric relation so what is important here for every order pair a comma b belongs to r order pair b comma a also belongs to r we say that the relation is a symmetric relation i hope you understand this class if you like this video please press like button and share it with your friends if you have any doubts please comment and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel to get more updates thank you